Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette here with the next video. And today it's a little bit of a different video. We're taking a look at some attacks on weird bases. Um, I don't really know how else to say it. Just kind of anti two star type bases, but not really. Um, it's coming from the war against King of Iran, bit of an engineered clan, and they did have some weird bases. So these bases are a little bit different compared to what we typically see, uh, but they might be something that you guys uh, see more in midweek searches if your clan's not doing arranged wars, and if it's not doing um, any clan war leagues, you guys might see these types of bases more. So hopefully uh, this video is helpful for some of you guys, because uh, this is a pretty common type design that Town Hall 11s use. Uh, not this exact design, but they like putting the Town Hall in the middle with the moat around it. So isolating that town hall, making it difficult, and against these bases, it's pretty similar to what you do in any 10v11 attack. You gotta break the funnel on both sides, then you gotta get the town hall. It's just even more important that you make a good funnel on this base, because uh, it can be tricky in that um, it's very easy for your troops not to go to the town hall uh, if you don't make the funnel. Uh, as deep as it needs to be. So I know I probably sound a little bit sick right now, and I am. That's part of the reason I haven't been uh, uploading the last few days as I've been under the weather. Uh, but I'm feeling a little bit better, and I know my voice is going to sound croaky, but um, I think I can still get this video done for you guys. I'm taking a look at five attacks today, and uh, we'll see if I can get through it here. So anyway, um, this was a cool attack. Now the queen almost goes around the wrong way, but she doubles back, which oftentimes is what ends up ruining an attack when she doubles back. But in this case, it worked out because he wanted her to enter the base, and she does. Um, sends in a P.E.K.K.A., Bowlers, and Witches. I like the combination. The P.E.K.K.A. just for the damage. The Witches because there's no Inferno Towers. Uh, pops the Queen's ability. She just barely gets that Inferno. Then has the Rage for her as soon as she, she takes out the Inferno. So she can create the Funnel. Um, everything went in the same entry point. So that was kind of cool. And then the Bowlers, the P.E.K.K.A., the Witches, the Golem, and the King all went the other direction. Actually, I don't know if he had a Golem. Maybe he did. Um, this is Star War. But he had his kill squad go one way, his queen go the other way, then drops the jump and the Valks just right for the town hall. Now, he didn't use a rage, which makes sense because it's the first building they target. Although that eagle almost takes out the Valks here um, right before they get the town hall. You can see they're all very, very low on health. So luckily, he gets that town hall taken out, and then he'll get some more percentage right here, going up to about 56, 57 uh, percent. Oh, 59. Okay, nice. Um, so anyway, that'll do it for this attack. Pretty good stuff there. I like the uh, the d design, because that base can be tricky. You just got to create a really nice funnel on both sides. That's the, like, the most important thing, is the funnel. Then the town hall is so isolated that you don't need that many troops or that many spells to actually take out the town hall itself. Um, this next one uh, is Lack, and this is a weird town hall 10 base, but I'm sure you guys see something like this occasionally. Um, it's actually not that close to being max. It has level 3 Infernos, uh, but some of the Expos, Archer Towers, and I think even some of the Cannons are a little bit lower level. And one of the important things to notice is that air, those air defenses being uh, Town Hall uh, 9 level, that makes it much easier to do a Laloon, and that's what Lack's going to do. So good base identification. One more thing against any of these types of bases that aren't really anti 3 star, they're going to be very good bases for Queen Walks. Um, take a look at that Expo Archer Tower. On an anti 3 star base, those would be set back another tile so the Queen couldn't reach them. Um, but oftentimes, these, uh, these kind of like anti 2 ish bases are, are very susceptible to Queen Walks. So look to use that for sure because they're not putting the, the defenses, you know, that extra tile back. They're not going to be thinking about Queen Walks typically while building the base. So that's a great thing to use. The Queen Walk meets up in this case with the Golem and a King, enters the base, takes out the Dragon, the Loons, gets the Teslas. Um, it's these somewhat old school attacks that work on these bases. So we typically um, don't see a straight up, uh, you know, half kill squad hybrid Laloon attack like this. Um, or we do sometimes, but it's these types of attacks that work well. Um, Laloon, you can use hogs as well. Um, 
but typically a big kill squad is good for these types of bases because uh, you can get some great value in the core. The queen's going to step up and get both infernos. Uh, that's incredible value right there. He probably wasn't even expecting that and probably didn't. Well, actually, maybe he needed that. Uh, they they might have still got the, the uh, three star, even if the queen didn't get that inferno. Um, but has some more loons for the back end and another haste. Great stuff. Still has a healer just floating around, which is kind of funny. And that'll do it. So, yeah, um, one thing at Town Hall 10, look to use those queen walks as you would. Um, at Town Hall 9 as well if you're going against kind of an anti two star base because they're, they don't have the stuff that we've become so accustomed to seeing to defend against queen walks like the defenses put farther back like the um, the setup of the point defense etc etc so um, let's move on to number 16 one more Town Hall 10 this is Matt and this is a weird base um, it has two single infernos right in the middle um, and sometimes the single infernos can throw you off. I myself um, have used a single inferno in CWL wars, and it's actually defended somewhat well in certain cases. So the single infernos don't underestimate them; they can throw you off. Now, one thing people um, often think is, "Oh, I can't do a Laloon attack because the single infernos will wreck my lava hounds," and that's somewhat true, but. The Infernos on this base can't reach the top air defenses, so that's one thing he doesn't have to worry about. Also, um, the I think one of those the Inferno gets locked onto the king and takes him out, but despite them getting locked onto his heroes, he still gets great value. So don't think just because it's a single Inferno, I can't use a Golem kill squad, um, I can't use Laloon. You can still use relatively high HP troops. You just have to um, to keep in mind, what, you know. If if the if the, if they get locked on, you gotta pop your queen's ability relatively quickly. You gotta have um, some of those things in mind, and just make sure that the first thing that the inferno locks onto isn't gonna be your golem, isn't gonna be your king. Uh, sometimes a CC of giants is a better alternative, something like that. So um, in this case, does the Laloon on the back end, and the lava hounds actually aren't even getting targeted by the infernos. He he timed it very nicely. Um, and, the, and the single infernos are not effective against balloons at all. Uh, they do take them out one at a time, but it just takes a long time. You can heal the other loons. So um, still has a Lava Hound left up. A few Archer Towers hanging out there, and uh, he'll finish them off. Has one more haste spell as well. So nice attack to Matt. Um, good base identification. Picking the right strategy and executing. Let's take a look at two Town Hall 9 attacks before I completely lose my voice here. Um, it's been a rough week, but luckily I actually don't have school on Friday because it is um, Veterans Day, so that is a nice little bonus there. Okay, let's move on to 25. Um, Iron Lion. This one was a weird base as well, and like I said, I'm not saying these are anti-two-star bases. It's like an anti-three-star base, um, in principle, especially the way the town hall is exposed and everything, but it's just a very weird spread out base. And you're going to see bases like this, and I think the kill squad's a very effective way to take this out, um, because those golems allow you to create such a wide funnel, since the initial DPS these golems take is very little compared to a regular base, since the point defense is so spread out, you can drop those golems and they will tank for a very long time initially, so you can create an extremely wide funnel. Unfortunately, this cannon right here did not lock on as planned, uh, but he could have got some much more uh, value if the cannon had. I think he misses the mortar. The queen comes over for it, though, uh, but she's going to end up being targeted by that cannon a little bit, which is unfortunate. Um, his entry point was pretty wide, so initially um, the CC troops are an issue, but the wizards take them out, um, I think even before the queen. So that works out. Um, you can see how much of the base he's chewing off here with the kill squad. Very nice giant there. Um, love that giant. Underused for sure. Not only tanking some of the point defense, but even more importantly, tanks the wizard tower, which can be brutal to hogs. A group of four hogs under a wizard tower. That can take those hogs down fast um, with the splash damage. Now, he actually misses the queen, um, but he has so many hogs left up that it doesn't matter. He has two heal spells. So he's going to heal them over the queen, and I think he heals them over the queen again. Actually, maybe he swags the heal, I'm not sure. Um, but regardless, 
kind of a funny attack how this ended up working out with the queen still being up at the end. Uh, the hogs will get her though, and that will do it. Good heads up poison on the queen to slow her down uh, to minimize her damage. So nice stuff, nice wide funnel. Take advantage of the wide funnel you can make and how you can be nice and slow and just let the attack develop, let the funnel develop because the, your golems aren't taking a lot of damage. Uh, good base to use hogs on typically. La Loon, not quite as much. I like, I like hogs for these spread out bases, though I'm not a Town Hall 9 myself, so take it with a grain of salt, I guess. Now, one more attack to take a look at. 26, just moving down one once again. This is uh, Ares, I think is how he says it. Arius, Ares, Ares, um, Ares, I think. Uh, this one was probably my favorite attack from this war. Not that I watched all the attacks, I'll be honest. Um, but from the, from the uh, quite a few that I did actually watch uh, briefly, this was my favorite. Um, taking a look at this one, this queen walk, I feel like, could have taken out the entire base. Now, he probably would have ran out of time, but the, it had the juice to do it. Great wall breakers. I love how he goes to that second layer there. Uh, very crafty even with the spring trap, sneaks those wall breakers in. And notice how both the expos are just kind of hanging out right there. Um, allows his queen to take out the two biggest threats to a queen walk, which are the expos. They they tend to be the most brutal point defense. Um, so this is a very difficult area. It has the CC troops um, and the expos, both of them. Uh, but she's able to do it under a rage. And uh, keep in mind here that the poisoned dragon um, is very slow in its attack speed. So even though it's a very high damage troop in the CC, it's not going to be a huge issue for taking out with your queen. Uh, love the jump. I like how he placed it over to purposely direct her the way he wants her to go. So very intentional placement on that jump. And like I said, if you look at how much of, like how many actual defenses are left, that double cannon, which can't reach her um, for quite a while, just because of its reduced range, um, with her ability, she could have gone much, much farther, even if the Laloon hadn't started, although he has to worry about time. So here come the uh, Lava Hounds, the Loons behind, but you're gonna see it's just gonna be overkill on this base. Uh, a few Teslas do pop at the end here. I think he will use the Queen's ability as she starts to get low. Actually, only, only one cannon on her. The jump, unfortunately, runs out, uh, which kind of puts a, a halt to what was otherwise gonna be an even an even bigger queen walk if she had taken that jump. So a few loons closing in on the last air defense here. Last Lava Hound pops, has the minions for cleanup. We'll fast forward. Um, pops the queen's ability. Very, very nice queen walk. Uh, fun to watch. Nice attack to Ares. Uh, both expos together. Yeah, he took advantage of that. Got them taken out first with his queen because uh, expos are very good at defending queen walks and very good at defending Glaloon, both of which he was using. So got those expos taken out at the beginning, just out of the way. So anyway, that will do it for this video. Hope you guys liked it. Thanks for watching, and um, I'm hoping to record some more. You know, I'm not feeling too well, but um, there's another type of video I want to get out for you guys. Plus, uh, we got the playoff starting this weekend, so that's going to be fun. Um, I probably will be at home at my house, so I should be able to cover that, uh, get some videos out on that. That should be a really fun um war this weekend and hopefully we win and move on to the next uh round of playoffs but that'll do it for this video though thanks for watching i'll see you guys later bisectatron out